Easter eggs are some of the greatest secrets hidden in games. There's always something magical about finding that little reference or nod to either a developer, character, or other work of art entirely. But where did this all begin? What was the first Easter egg? Well, let's go back and visit a little company called Atari. In 1978, Warren Robinett developed a game for the Atari 2600 simply titled Adventure. Wow, talk about originality. Actually, Adventure was based off the classic text game Colossal Cave Adventure. Robinett's boss actually disapproved of his involvement in the project and wanted him off since he considered the adaptation was too difficult to pull off. Despite his boss's remarks, Robinette continued his work on Adventure until he had a working prototype to show the marketing department at Atari. The employees were impressed and gave Robinette the go-ahead to continue working on it. The then president of Atari at the time, Ray Kazar, was not kind to developers and considered he only needed to credit the publishers rather than the individual artists. It was this viewpoint that led Robinet to put his mark on his product in a rather creative fashion. Robinet decided to create a secret chamber within the game that credited himself. Since developers were often treated unfairly and never made royalties on the titles they worked on, Robinet knew he would have to leave his mark on adventure. He didn't let anyone in on his plan. He didn't tell a single soul and the chamber wasn't mentioned in the game's manual. This means that players had to discover the secret Easter egg all on their own. Robinette left the company in 1979, shortly after turning in the final code for the game. By the time the secret was unveiled, Warren Robinette was out of Atari's command. So how does one find this secret chamber which contains the designer's secret? It requires quite the amount of steady investigation and experimentation, which is probably why it took players months to find it. This Easter egg requires players to take a bridge into a black castle, thus forcing the screen to flicker and reveal a secret room. Using the bridge to enter the room, pick up a gray dot and carry it back to the main hallway. This opens up a passage to another chamber, which contains the text created by Warren Robinett. It was Adam Clayton, a 15-year-old boy from Salt Lake City, who discovered the Easter egg and sent it to Atari, who were less than pleased when they received the letter. Since at the time of discovery, Warren had already left the company, Atari's main concern was to have it removed immediately. Unfortunately, Creating a new ROM mask of the game would have cost the company around $10,000. So, rather than causing a huge fuss, Atari left the Easter egg alone. The management team at Atari was furious, but there was one man who thought the entire process was quite amusing. Steve Wright, the then home video game department manager of Atari, absolutely loved the idea and coined the term Easter egg. The term was used to describe something hidden in a game, in a similar fashion to that of an Easter egg hunt. To this day, Robinette's Easter egg continues to inspire, and when asked about the experience, he often describes it as a David and Goliath kind of story. Though it turns out it wasn't the first Easter egg created since games like Video Whizball contained a similar secret, Adventure was still the first case this was exposed to the public, and ever since then, developers have pushed to make these little surprises in each of their games. So the next time you spot a pop culture reference or a designer's name in game, you just think of Warren Robinette and the mark he made on gaming history. Thanks for watching.